Hello everybody, this is Emmeth. Welcome back to Let's Play Back to the Future the Game. This is episode 3, part 2 actually, but this is gonna be part 16. Um, let's bust the buster. In Valley Courthouse, how may I help you, citizen? I need to see Doc, or uh, Citizen Brown. Do you have an appointment? Uh, no, but... Then I'm afraid you'll have to wait your turn. Citizen Brown's a very busy man. That voice sounds familiar. Right. Oh, what's happening now? Oh, Brown! It's Biff. Biff? And that's Dr. Brown. Doc? Huh. Ah, wait! I need to talk to you. Hmm. Maybe Biff knows something. Well, where is he? Is he over? I think it's over this way, actually. Let's see. Yeah, there he is. Biff. Biff? Hey. You're, you're George and Lorraine's youngest. Martin, right? What? You don't know me? Only by reputation. Brown Cadet of the Month, three months running. Impressive. Are you interested in the Citizen Plus program? Nice clothes. You lose a bet or something? What do you mean? I'm wearing what everyone's wearing. It's Polo Shirt Thursday. You, my friend, are out of uniform. So I've heard. Yeah. Well, there's always tomorrow. Hawaiian Shirt Friday. Um... Great. What? Listen, Biff, that car I saw you get out of, was that Doc Brown in there with you? Ah, Doc! That should be his new nickname! But, yeah, that was Citizen Brown. What an inspirational guy. Um, How'd you get FaceTime with him? He seems so busy. You got that right, Martin. Citizen Brown's a busy, busy guy. But fortunately, uh... Unfortunately, I'm a special case. See, Martin, I used to be a real bad apple. A real... butthead. Really, huh? You? You, a butthead? No. What can I say, Martin? I was always getting into trouble. Too much trouble, what with the booze, the partying, the women. Even my dogs were a pack of trouble. Pack, get it? Uh, yeah. What does this have to do with Citizen Brown? Well, after getting in so much trouble, the authorities, they took me in to see Citizen Brown and gave me an ultimatum. Citizen Plus or Bust. Okay, so what is Citizen Plus? What is this Citizen Plus? It's Citizen Brown's new re-education program, and I'm the first of Hill Valley Citizen Plus. Uh, pluses. Plus I? <laughs> so you won't break any rules anymore? Can't. The Citizen Plus treatment makes it physically impossible for me to break rules. How so? Um, now I get physically ill if I try to break a rule. What the hell is that? Seriously? That's like some psychological... something. Um... Do you think I could get to see Citizen Brown if I did all the bad stuff you used to do? I guess, but why would you want to act like that? How's your re-education holding up? Still incapable and uninterested in breaking the rules. Well, good for you. Sure you aren't craving a beer? I do kinda miss beer. Uh-oh. Uh, on second thought, blah! Huh. Used to be a real bruiser. That's all behind me now. So what, you wouldn't even defend yourself? I don't know if I could, actually. Wuss. Oh, you're just aching to find out, though. Yep. Oh, oh, come on, dude! Don't torment me. I can get used to this. Please, Martin, don't make me angry. All right, Biff, you're off the hook this time. Hmm, okay. That should be... What the hell? Can I get out of this? Um... So, uh, about all the bad things you used to do. Gosh, Martin, I Hold really on. don't like, like dredging up okay. the past. 
but all right, if it'll help you make a decision about Citizen Plus. You said something about booze? Beer, rum, whiskey, wine coolers, you name it, I drank it. Not only did I drink it, I smuggled it into Hill Valley, too. Chip off the old block, huh? What? Used to be I'd knock your block off for a comment like that. But yeah, I guess I was following in Pop's crummy footsteps. Really? What kind of trouble did you get into with women? They weren't hookers? No, no, nothing like that. It's just that I wasn't always discreet about my affections. What? Public displays of affection, Martin. You know, necking and such. That's illegal? Hmm. Oh, yeah. What? Why'd your dogs get you in trouble? You weren't running dog fights, were you? No, nothing that bad. I just used to have a lot of dogs. What's wrong with that? Nothing, other than them keeping the neighbors up all night, lunging at old people, and eating all the squirrels in the park. In fact, I'm ashamed to say it was my out-of-control dogs that were directly responsible for the banning of dogs throughout Hill Valley. You don't sound very ashamed. Oh, I am. Very, very ashamed. Really? Yeah, let's, let's change the subject. Thanks. I don't like talking about my old, nasty self. Oh, whatever. See you later, Biff. Bye, Martin! That was a long and boring conversation. Oh, it's Jennifer. What's Jen up to now? Let's find out. Let's find out what is she up to. Do -do 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 -do. I don't like this new gen though. It's just... I don't know. Really? What should we do? Jennifer! Jen! You got a problem? So do you spend most of your time vandalizing public property? Don't even think about snitching on me. Unless you want this spray can up your... No, no, listen, you got me wrong. All right. I'm looking to, uh, break a few rules myself. You? What do you know about harboring dangerous animals? So you met my new boyfriend. Oh, lighten up. Isn't graffiti a major infraction? You'd think. But after Big Brown had all those buildings coated in that Teflon polymer junk a couple years ago, graffiti's been knocked down to a two-demerit offense. Go fig. Okay. This ban on public displays of affection bites. Hey, you're talking about my most favoritist legal infraction of all. Yeah? Not with you. Ew! <laughs> Jeez. You know where I could score some forbidden materials? Do I strike you as somebody who would possess illegal substances? Um, kinda, yeah. And you strike me as somebody who would turn in somebody like me. Next topic. This law against public kissing is a load of bull, right? Yeah, this town is full of it. What are you gonna do? Protest. That's what. Let's go stage a public kiss-in. Let's not, and say we did. Um... On second thought, maybe I don't want to know any more about breaking the rules. Wuss. Oh, come on. Did you get a load of Biff Tannen back there? He's so... Calm. Yeah, creeps me out. You and me both. If that's what the Citizen Plus program's all about, I'll stay a Citizen Minus. That's right. What's the deal, Jennifer? He left me stranded outside the city gates. Yeah, that was pretty rotten, wasn't it? I'm such a horrible role model. Better get away before I corrupt you. Too late. Look, I don't know what you got against me in this timeline, uh, lately, but I'm here to make things right. I've missed you, you know? Take a look at me, Martin. Do I look like the kind of girl that would hang around the president of the Junior Brown Brigade? I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but I gotta admit, I kinda like you like this. Oh, uh, Barf? <laughs> What's wrong with her? Hill Valley's totally screwed up, but I got a plan to fix everything. You do, huh? 
Yep. I'm gonna go talk to Citizen Brown and get him to make it all better. That sounds like the kind of plan you'd come up with, weirdo. I don't want to talk to her anymore. A streak. Ah. She's nasty. Don't like her. Now what can we do? Quick. I don't know. I don't want to talk to her. I know. I, I'm right here. Ah, oh, geez. So okay, I'll talk to her again. What the hell is this all about? What is it now? So, Jennifer. Uh huh. What do you think of me? I don't. <laughs> wow. Seriously, what have you got against me? I'm kind of popular, right? Very popular. Among a certain crowd. What crowd? Dorks. Fun. You act like I'm a turnoff, but I don't buy it. We were meant to be together. Look, just because I let you tag along to a couple of concerts doesn't mean we're Romeo and Juliet. I mean, sure, you're a little cute, but you're into hey. all this honor student crap. Honor student? And I'm into more interesting things. Wow. And guys. Okay. You going out with someone else, I bet I can make you forget him. Sorry, Martin, but you just don't rate anymore. Not nice. Marty McFly a dork? It's impossible. He can't be a dork. Okay, anyone who talks about himself in the third person is a dork. Hey. My mom and dad. What about them? Would you say they're normal? By Hill Valley standards, yeah. In other words, they're warped beyond repair. Sorry to be the one to break it to you. What do you know about the Citizen Plus program? Only what I hear on TV, and the radio, and the newspapers, and the PA systems all over town. They want everybody to enroll, and they say it'll make us all happy and well-adjusted. Which is why I'm gonna stay clear of it. Citizen Brown is a really great guy. You're wasting your breath, Martin. I don't buy into all that happy talk. No, really. This crazy police state wasn't his idea. It'll all get undone once I have a good talk with him. You know, I almost feel sorry for you. Yeah, I kind of do that myself. Leech and the whoosh bags. I've never heard of them. No, you wouldn't have. They don't play much punk on those smooth jazz stations you listen to. Smooth jazz? I couldn't possibly be that square, even in an alternate timeline. Give me a can of spray paint. I got an urge to paint something. Happy little trees? Get yourself a watercolor kit. I'm not sharing my wall. It won't be long before I see Citizen Brown. Hey, can I come with you? Sure. You wanna see Citizen Brown too? Yeah. Maybe he can give me a heart when he gives you a brain. Couldn't hurt to ask. Well, well. Your paint's starting to streak. Ah. So we got uh, information about our mom and dad. Let's see what we can do. Denver's now. I know. What the hell do you want from me? I've talked to her. She's she's a bitch. Really? Come yeah. on. You going out with someone else? I bet I can make you forget him. Sorry, Martin, but you just don't rate anymore. See, there's nothing more. Starting a streak. Nothing more to ah. talk to her about. Must be where Jen keeps her paints. Locked. We have to unbreak it. Or do we? We don't really have anything else. So what else? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, whatever. Don't talk about her. Don't want to talk to her. That is it. That is all. Oh. Look out, son! Oh. It's mom. Mom? Yeah. Well, where did she go? Martin! Oh, there she is. Oh, hey, Mom. So, what? Are you out here shopping or something? Oh, shopping? <laughs> Who shops anymore? No, it's that time of the month for me again. Uh... For my civic duty. I'll be polishing the statue all day. Oh, right. Okay. 
What's with the golf cart, Mom? Now, Martin, I know you're embarrassed to be driving around in last year's model, but we really can't afford the 86s yet. Well, what about my truck? No one owns a truck in Hill Valley. Martin, are you sure you're feeling okay? Yeah, yeah. I just... I must have had a really vivid dream last night. Well, I hope your dream world was more fun than this one. Could you do me a favor? I forgot to give your father my timesheet for last week, and now Mr. Nosy is convinced that I'm hiding something from him. Timesheet? Aren't they annoying? But Citizen Brown always says, a scheduled life is a happy life. Anywho, could you be a dear and drop it off at the house? Here, take the car. Actually, I... I know, uh... I know, dear. Love you, too. I'd give you a kiss, but you know what that gets you. Don't forget to pick me up this evening. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, so... I know this has been a really boring episode and everything, but, um... Next time we will uh, take the electric car and go to our house. I guess mom and dad's house. But anyway, thanks for watching this episode of Back... Not episode, part of Back to the Future, uh, the game, episode 3, Citizen Brown. I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching and goodbye!